Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. Last week we selenium toned a negative and the reason we did that was to increase the contrast. The negative had been underdeveloped. Development controls negative contrast whereas exposure controls negative density. So if you have a low contrast negative it's because you haven't developed it for long enough. So I took the low contrast negative and toned it in selenium and that increased the contrast. But I said to you that we'd look today at pyro negatives. Selenium has a problem and that is it can reduce the stain on a pyro negative and the stain is a good thing. The stain reduces apparent grain. The stain helps control highlights. There's various reasons we want to keep the pyro stain. And so we don't want to lose that with selenium. So how do we increase the contrast of a pyro negative? And the simple answer is we sepia tone the negative. We bleach it in ferrous cyanide and then we tone it in sepia or thiourea in this case. So let's get over to the darkroom and have a look at how we do that. Here is a print from the flat negative and I'm printing this at grade three and a half. I don't want to go higher to get more punch and crispness because I'm, I start to lose the highlight nuances and I want to keep those. I want the shadows darker and I want the highlight nuances. Now I suppose I could split grade print it and see if I could improve it that way but I know if I intensify the negative we'll get a much easier print from it. And the way I'm going to intensify it is bleach it and then redevelop it. And the redevelopment is going to be done in a sepia toner. So first of all bleach. I'm going to bleach the negative. Let's look at the negative. There it is. And that's before it's been bleached. And I'm going to show you now how to make your bleach solution. This is the chemical we're going to use to bleach our negative and it's exactly the same chemical that's used in farmers reducer and other bleaches. Potassium ferricyanide. Now first of all I make a 10% solution of the potassium ferricyanide and I keep that in a dark bottle in a cupboard uh, and it lasts a long time in this bottle. So a 10% solution of ferrous cyanide. And then I measure 500 milliliters of water and I add 25 milliliters of this 10% solution. That creates me the bleach solution. Now you may have seen other videos of mine where I've been bleaching and toning um, prints and I often add bromide. Um, but in this case for a negative I don't need to add any bromide. We're just going to use the straight 10% ferrous cyanide solution diluted again 25 milliliters to 500 milliliters and I'll put that up on the screen for you. So let's get the negative and we'll put it in and we'll start to bleach it. Now I'm wearing gloves and safety goggles so that I can't get any of this on my hands or in my eyes. Um, and so we're going to leave that now with occasional agitation and I agitate by just getting a stirrer and just gently moving the negative, very gently moving the negative around inside the ferrous cyanide solution. And this is going to take an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to bleach. So let's come back to it then. The negative has been in the bleach for about an hour now and I'm going to carefully take this out. Now for demonstration I would be much more careful and use my gloves and things but I'm just quickly showing you how bleached this is. It's almost completely gone and what we're seeing is the stain that's left on the negative from the pyro. All the silver has been bleached out. So now I'm going to put that gently into this water and you can see I've put a neg um, a print, an upside down print in the bottom there and that will protect it from any scratching. And now I'm going to allow that to wash for about 15 or 20 minutes. 
to make sure that there's no more of that bleach left in that negative. When it's fully washed, we'll make up the toner and I'll show you how to do that. So to make up my toner, I've got 500 milliliters of water here and I'm going to add 20 milliliters of 5% thiourea and 30 milliliters of 10% sodium hydroxide. And what this will do is it will give us a dark brown color to our negatives. So let's do that now. So 20 milliliters of this, if I can just show you on the camera, there we are. There we go. And just pop that in the 500 ml of water. And the water's at 20 centigrade. It's the temperature I do most of my work at. Put the top on that. And next, I'll just give this a quick rinse. And we're going to use 30 ml of the 10% sodium hydroxide. So let's pour 30 ml in here. There we are, 30 ml, and pop that in as well. So give it a stir, and that is our toner. Let's get this negative out of the wash and tone it. First, I'm pouring my 500 milliliters of toning solution in this tray. Now you can do this in a beaker, uh, but I wanted you to see the color change on the negative. Here's the negative. You can see how it's just stained now. There's no silver left. It's all been bleached out. So now I'm going to pop it in and just gently agitate this. I think you can see right away there's a color change. Yeah, make sure we get the whole thing nicely underneath that toner there. You tone it all. And she's toning very quickly to a nice dark color. And this is intensifying that negative. It's increasing the contrast on the negative, so it's going to be much easier for me to print. So I'll give it a few more minutes in here, just so that it's completely toned. And then we'll make a print and we'll have a look and compare it to the first print I made. What was the results then of our efforts today? Well, let's have a look. Here is that original print that I was unhappy with. Uh, I believed it to be flat. And here is the new one. And I think you can see straight away, it's a much better print. That has added at least, well, um, I the right hand side one three, was grade three and a half and was flat. This one is actually grade three. So I've come down half a grade and it's look, look at the light on the leaves. And I've got all that lovely highlight detail. That's a nice print. I'm very pleased. I think you'll agree. It's been a great improvement. So there you go. Pyro negatives, no problem. Just bleach and sepia tone. And don't forget, you can do this with ordinary negatives too. You don't need to be using pyro negatives to get this effect from bleaching and toning. So I hope that helps you. With any flat negatives you've got, any underdeveloped negatives you've got, and please like the video, subscribe to my channel, become a patron, and support these videos week after week. Thank you so much, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for a tip on Friday.